Hello math learners! We're already finished with the first two variations, the direct and inverse variations. Now, we will be stepping up our discussion and let's talk about the third type of variation and that is joint variation. So, if you don't have any clue about this topic, then I suggest you finish this video because we will be talking about how to illustrate, how to translate, and how to solve joint variations. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in ML with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash and today we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency based lesson for quarter 2 of the grade 9 mathematics which is all about joint variations. Now the question is what is a joint variation? Joint variation is basically the same as the direct variation however it talks about three or more variables. It means that if your direct variation has y is equal to kx, in the joint variation, we will add at least one variable, making it three variables, okay? Or three quantities. So this is basically the mathematical statement or the equation of a joint variation. And this is read as, or this is translated as, y varies jointly as x and z so basically when your x increases your y increases when your z increases your y increases or vice versa when your x or z decreases then your y also decreases okay so the question is what is the statement to be considered that is the statement to be considered in joint variation what are the equation this is the equation so in terms of equation there are a lot of equations in the real life setting that shows a joint variation what are this let's consider a formula in the area the area of a rectangle if you could remember in your elementary days the area of a rectangle is length times width right Length times width, two variables affecting the area. So basically, as your length increases or as your width increases, your area also increases. And this is a great example of a joint variation. Now, you might be asking me, what is the constant of variation here? Basically, the constant of variation here is 1. Since it is already a common knowledge for us that if there is a 1 coefficient there, we don't need to put the number. Right? Okay. So... How do we solve joint variations? So now, let us go on solving variation. How do we solve the constant, the unknowns, and word problems involving joint variation? First, the constant. If this is your equation, the constant is solved by just getting your y, then divide it to the product of your x and z. The same as the concept in the direct variation, the constant is acquired when y is divided to x. But since there is a z now, so that x and z will be multiplied first and then the product will be then used as a divisor to your y quantity. Okay? So, let's consider an example. Okay, math learners, we have an example here. Z varies jointly as x and y. Z is 6 when X is equal to 10 and Y is equal to 18. Find the constant of variation, the equation of variation, and what is Z when your X is equal to 4 and your Y is equal to 30. Now, the same concept or the same technique as what we did in our inverse variation, what you need to do first is you need to translate this statement. So, how do we translate it into a mathematical statement? Since Z is already the first letter being discussed, so that is Z equals jointly as X and Y. So that is K, X, Y. So this will be your translation or mathematical equation for this statement. Easy, right? Okay. Now, how do you solve for your constant of variation? So you can derive your constant 
formula from this given equation and that is k is equal to z divided by xy. So since we have already our given, what we need to do is to substitute our z is 6 and our x is 10, our y is 18. Okay, so by simplifying we have 6 over 180. Now, can 6 be divided by 180? For sure, you can, right? So what we can do is we just need to get the lowest term of 6 over 180. And, and the answer for that is 1 over 30 by dividing 6 to both the numerator and denominator. So your k is 1 over 30. Now, that will be the answer for your letter A. Question is, what is the equation of variation? So since this is your equation, what you need to do is to substitute your k to this equation and that will be 130 times x and y. Or you could just write it as xy over 30. Easy, right? Okay, so it could be like this or it could be this one. Now, let us solve for our final question. Which, what is z when x is equal to 4 and your y is equal to 30? So, what you need to do here is to substitute it. This will become 4 and this will become 30. So, basically, that is z is equal to x will be 4 and your y will be 30. Then, you divide it by 30 which is, your, which is part of your equation. So basically, 30 and 30, you can cancel it. And your final answer is 4. Easy, right? So your final answer is Z, and we have answered the three questions in our problem. Now, let us have one word problem before we will wrap up our discussion. Okay, math learners, we are here to our final example. And this is a word problem. It states, the area of a triangle varies jointly with its base and height. If the base is 16 centimeters and height is 13 centimeters, the area is 104 square centimeters. The questions are, what is the constant of variation? What is the area when your base is 9 centimeters and your height is 12 centimeters? Okay, the first thing you need to do is first you translate your given statement. The first statement is here, the area of a triangle. So area, that is A varies jointly with its base and height. So for base, we use B. For height, we use H. So that is K, B, H, or K times B times H. So that will be our translation given that our K is the constant of variation. Okay, so by solving our K, that is area divided by base times height. Okay, so now the question is, what is the constant of variation if you have this given? Okay, so we have 104 as our A. That is 104. Then our base is 16. And our height is 13. Okay, so we just need to simplify this one. That is 104 over 16 times 13. That would give us 3 times 6. So that would give us 200. Eight. Okay, 208. Now, 104 over 208. Can we simplify this? Can they divide with each other? We can't, but we can simplify it because 104 is half of 208. Therefore, we can simplify 104 over 208 as 1 half. So we have our constant that is 1 half. So for letter A, we already have the answer. One half is the constant. Okay. So the next question is, what is the area when our base is 9 centimeters and our height is 12 centimeters? So what we can do here is we just need to make our equation with the use of our K. And that is one half base times height. Now, as you can see, this is the actual formula for the area of a triangle. That is, area is equal to one half base times height. Now, let's try to solve our area with our base as 9 and our height as 12. Okay, so that gives us 
So we can make some techniques here. We can use 12 divided by 2. Okay? 12 divided by 2, that is 6. 6 times 9, that is 54. Uh, cm or square centimeter. And that will be your final answer. Because 9 times 12, that is 108. And if you divide it by 2 or you multiply it to 1 half, the answer is 54 square centimeters. So we have our answer for A as 1 half. And we have our answer for B, the area, which is 54 square centimeters. Easy, right? Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic. And here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have a wonderful time in our discussion for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Hope you can share this to your friends, classmates, and schoolmates, as well as teachers, parents. You can use this to your teaching learning process. God bless, take care, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.